It is time for another daily YouTube live stream. I'm Zach. Welcome back. Let's play some games today. We are back in City Skylines in my Canada themed city, Atena. And uh, I hope you guys are ready because we're going to be expanding out my new town and building a really cool housing area. So uh, let's jump into the game. I got lots of cool things to fix and build and create, and I'm looking forward to doing it with all of you guys. So let's jump in the game and get started. Uh, hello to everybody in chat. V5 is in chat. Tim is in chat. Hey, guys. How's it going? Uh, quick note before we get into the stream today. So today is election day in the United States. And let me just reiterate, we, don't, we do not talk about politics on this channel. So no politics in chat. I won't talk about politics. <laughs> We're just here to play games. So no politics, please. Uh, Northern's in chat. Hey, man. Welcome to the stream. Tim says, just another day. Okay, so here we are in my town, and it's a little bit small. I mean, it's taken us a while to grow. I mean, this is the third stream of this town, and this is all we got. Well, we got this over here, too. Um, but, you know, I'm hoping to get a, a ton done today. So, yeah, this is gonna, we're going to see some massive expansion today. Uh, but, you know, I f I'm feeling really good. I've spent a lot of time, like, looking at this and figuring out what I want to do next. And the big thing that we need to do is build out some residential. So right now, everybody in the town is living in this hotel. We have 37 people living in this hotel. Although this town says there's 87 people in the town, so maybe some people are just homeless. But there's 87 residents and only 47 or 37 living in the one residential building, which is this one here. So I don't know how that quite makes sense, but okay. Anyway, the point is we need more residential. So that's where we're going to start the stream today. Look at how beautiful this map is. I just can't get over it. Is this how Canada looks in real life? Because this is just breathtaking. Whew. Okay, so I think what I want to do is kind of fill in this area here for starters with some residential. Um, let's, we have a power line here. I think I'm going to need to move this, like redraw this again. So let me just move this slightly. Let me grab that power line again. So we're going to go, I want to bring it like right alongside the road be a little too close to the side of the road. Let's see what that looks like. Is that too close to the side of the road? No, that's about right. Is that too close? I don't know. I wanted it right by the road. Because, I mean, in real life, they're right by the road. And that gives me more room to build over here. So, um, I do not want a road coming right off here because... I'm worried about the traffic trying to cut through my residential area, and I want the traffic to go over the main road here. Like you can see already, we got trucks cutting through these side roads here, these big old trucks delivering who knows what. Where is this guy going? He's going importing oil products to Ready to Wear LTD, which is this factory. Yeah, okay. So this truck got off the freeway is cutting through this district to go to this factory rather than go on the main road. I want them to go on the main road. So let's just forbid them from, I mean, they need to be able to go here so they can deliver to these buildings, but maybe we could just forbid trucks on this road and this will be enough. So let's just do a little bit of this and let's say no trucks. And just that should stop the trucks from coming through here. Okay, so um, we should have a road come out into this area that we can build on. I'm thinking I'd like to connect it up to this road right here by the high school. Oh, by the way, check this out. So last 
uh, yesterday, I wanted like a covered walkway over here, and I found one. I went looking for one. And isn't this cool? I think before I had these right next to each other, and I just didn't, I just didn't like that. I, I think in real life, they would have built the high school here, and then they would have put, built the gymnasium with a little bit of space in between. They wouldn't have built it right next to each other. So, but you need some covered, some covering. So when you walk back and forth during a blizzard or something, that you have covered. You have, you're covered. So I built this like cool little walkway. I put some doors on either building. And I just think that looks really cool. Um, and this is our little high school area. In fact, while we're here, let me put some tables here. Because this would be lovely to like eat lunch out here. If you're in uh, high school. So let me grab some tables. Tables. Probably some wooden tables. I want to do like a lot of wooden stuff in this city. Yeah, something like this. Just some nice wooden tables. All out here. And then the high school kids can come out here and have some lunch. On on nice days. Not They wouldn't come out here during like a snowstorm or anything. But, you know, on regular days. This could be a really cool place to kind of hang out. I like it. All right, so let's extend this road here. We're going to grab this road, whatever this was. And just run it along here. It's nice. It goes right by the gym, which is great. And I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking we just go right into here. Yeah, that's cool. It gives me a little bit more space here. Maybe we can put something else in there. I don't know. Um, and then we can put housing, like, all out here. And so maybe this is a road here that kind of curves around. Yeah, maybe we do something like that. Or maybe this is, like, maybe that we make this, like, a little block. Maybe we make this like a block of houses here. Oh, it's snapping weird. Um, let's snap to the grid. No, that's not snapping it at all. There we go. How do I feel about that? Oh, that didn't even connect. Yeah, maybe this is a cul-de-sac here. Maybe a cul-de-sac there. Um, yeah, let's just leave it like that. We'll probably shorten this up a little bit, too. Okay, let me connect this road here. We'll use our network multi-tool to union these nodes. So that's nice and connected. Okay, that looks good. And then we'll start placing our houses. Uh, V5 says, in Canada, you need more than just a roof. You need walls also. Most of the school year has snow and wind. Northern says, go to the cinema during lunch hours. Oh, that's a good idea. The cinema is only a three-minute walk from school. Tim says, Zach, search for covered walkways on the workshop. Hey, I don't need to search for them. We found one. It looks great. B5 says, the roof thing's okay for California or Florida, but it's not going to help in the winter. I'm really interested in the DLC being able to invest. Also, they might have banks. Oh, yeah, the new DLC. Oh, I forgot about this. Today, how could I forget? Today they announced brand new DLCs coming out, new content creator packs. There's going to be um, a big release in November this month, the end of this month, and then another, another one again in December. So two big releases coming up. I'm so excited. They all look amazing. Except I got to say... Didn't a DLC just come out? Like, a DLC came out... What was it? Like, a month ago? When, do, when did the pedestrians... Plazas and pedestrians... I don't know. 
But I'm beginning to wonder if they're starting to do the Fortnite thing. Remember when Fortnite first got started and then they started selling skins and then all of a sudden it was like new skins every week. There was a new skin that you had to buy. I'm starting to wonder like, are they going to be like releasing new content creator packs every month? <laughs> because if they do that, I'm not sure I can afford to keep buying them because <laughs> this is a lot. This is going to be like become like a very pricey game, but we'll see. I might have to start picking and choosing. But yeah, I'm very excited for the, the DLC this month and next month. It's going to be very awesome. Greg is in chat. Hey, Greg. Saying, by the way, in addition to soccer, they also play baseball in Canada. 75 communities have minor league teams. First game was played in 1838. Nice. We should have a baseball field in here somewhere. V5 says it's a lot warmer and the Gordon Golden Horse Shoe might be warm enough for for just those covered walkways. Northern says I've literally never played Fortnite. <laughs> Liam's in chat. Hey Liam, how's it going? He's saying I'm late because I was watching election stuff. Oof. We're not talking about politics. We're not talking about it. You know, I haven't even watched the news all day today. I just I can't even like deal with it. You know, let me let me just Let's check here. Let me just check my phone. Okay. Remember how I mentioned I was getting like tons and tons of spam text messages from all of these politicians wanting me to go vote for them. And it's just, it's just, it's so crazy at this point. Okay. I have 104 spam messages on my phone. 104. I don't even pick up my phone anymore. I don't even pick it up. I mean, if somebody sent me something important, I wouldn't even be able to, I, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I'm getting very frustrated if you can tell. If someone sends me an important message, I can't tell because I'm buried under this political spam. It's, it's ridiculous. My phone is worthless. Oh, okay. Let's put in some houses. Okay, so I've spe I've set up a special uh, collection of houses that I think look pretty nice. Let me see if I can find them here. And these houses are actually I think these are from New Zealand. Um, but they look they look really cool. I like them because they're like um, they're not really colorful. They're a little bit. They're a little bit, they're a little bit dark, a little depressing, a little spooky. I don't know. I'm not saying Canada is spooky. I just, I didn't want like colorful houses, you know, like a lot of the houses I have have like bright red terracotta roofs and all kinds of stuff. I didn't want that. I wanted something a little bit more um, desaturated, I guess is the word for it. So let's put these houses down. Uh, a lot of nice houses here. Um, let's see. So we're just going to randomize these and just put them all like this. And like we saw when we looked at the map before, a lot of these houses are like really close together. So I'm going to keep these pretty close together in here. Some of these houses are a little bit bigger. Some of them are smaller. And this is just like a really kind of a cool little neighborhood in here. Look at this. How adorable is this neighborhood? That looks really cool. Let's take a look at these houses. Um, yeah, some of them, the roofs change color, so that's kind of cool. Um, but look at, wow, look at like, this has like cool, like fences around them and like these gardens. I'm going to have to fix like these, there's some of these driveways that have sprites going through them. I'll have to fix those. 
Um, those you can fix pretty easily by just using surface painter. Um, I'll throw some like gravel and it'll be like underneath here and we'll just take the sprites away. That looks pretty good. Looks like there's a little bit of gravel around the house. So we might have to do that for like a lot of these. Just get rid of the sprites. Uh, but can I just say, the gravel texture on this map is great. Look at how beautiful that looks. I mean, normally Surface Painter looks kind of cringe because it's like, look, at the, the line is kind of crazy. But this doesn't even look cringe because it's so beautiful. It looks like just beautiful gravel around here. I, it, it looks really great. But look at the, like, there's a hedge. There's a trampoline back here. This guy has a trampoline. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm really liking these houses. What an adorable neighborhood. Oh, let's fix these sprites here. Fix the sprites. <gasps> this one has a dead dog on the front porch. What is going on? These are starting to look a little creepy. What is the deal with these houses? All right, so yeah, this is kind of an adorable looking neighborhood. I might put some hedges back in here just to define where these yards end. That might be kind of nice. Uh, we do have, oh, we have some nice fences here, but what what is going on here? The fences are like broken. They're broken down fences. That's a little spooky. Is Canada spooky like this? What is going on here? And we have the, oh, this is a really nice house here. Look at this house. The Spring Residence. That is really cool. The Spring Residence. Is that this one? This says Wheeler House, family in Hawkins, Indiana, located on Maple Street, vicinity of the Sinclair and Blackburn houses. I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking this little neighborhood. We're going to keep expanding this out. Um, I want to let this run and get some of these people moving into some of these houses. Yeah, we definitely need to do that. But that, what a great little start. Liam says, yay, houses. Yes, I'm finally getting some houses in this town. Northern says, apparently I talk like a caveman for some reason. <laughs> Liam says, those look like mansions. You think? They're, they look like mansions? Liam's talking about the Geico commercial. So easy a caveman can do it. Liam says the dog is just sleeping. It's not dead. Oh, you think it's just sleeping? Maybe the dog is just sleeping over here. Yeah, let's not, let's not wake up the dog and find out. Let's just leave him be. V5 says, Zach has not heard of Dog Shooting Day, obviously. What? What is this? Dog Shooting Day? What do you guys do in Canada? Greg says, let sleeping dogs lie. Uh, Northern says, wait, they don't eat their dogs in America? Liam says, we do. It's called hot dogs. Uh, Liam says Indiana is in Canada now. Well, you know, I have to, I have to expand, you know, uh, they look Canadian. They look Canadian. I don't know where these models of these houses are actually from. Like I said, I, a lot of these models, I think, are actually based on New Zealand houses. But I think they look pretty Canadian to me. Does this look Canadian to you guys? It's a nice looking house. I think this could pass as Canadian. Can someone, can a Canadian verify that this house could be in Canada somewhere? I mean, these ones look really nice. I like these. Okay, before I let this run, we need to address the money situation. We are almost out of money, and this is bad. Uh, we are down to $276,000. I think we started with 715000 So let's look at my stats here really quick. Money... Let's see, t bank balance. Yeah, see, here's my bank balance. We started way up here, and now it's down here, which is a disaster. Massive disaster. 
Um, I think we can do a couple things here. I mean, my city is so small. We can turn my budgets way down. I don't think we need all of this, all of these expenses that I'm incurring. So if we go to our budget, yeah, for like roads, let's turn roads down. Let's turn electricity down. Let's turn water down. And basically, if anything is really a problem, people will complain. And when people complain, then we'll address it. But until they complain, I, I think we'll be fine. So this is all we'll do police and fire and schools and parks and everything. We're turning everything down. Now, 32 cents for parks? Wow, I thought we had more than that. 800 bucks for unique buildings. We're turning that down. What's 800 bucks? What's costing that? That's really expensive. Okay, unique buildings. We have this one. That's 360 a week. So it might be all of this. Lungs of the city. That's very expensive. Um, other unique buildings we have is... No, that's a business. This one. But this costs $0 a week. I think this is the only one. So this must be the $800 per week. Or 800 Is this per week? What is this? this? I think this might be per month. I don't know. Anyway, we turned all this down. So this should help. And what else could we do? Well, let's let this run and see what happens now. So we started at like negative 3,000 in profit a week. So let's see what that kind of jumps to. Greg says, Zach, do you see my comments on level one commercial? Uh, no. What did you say on the level one commercial stuff? Oh, shoot. We got water problems. What did you say on level one commercial stuff? Oh, Greg says, I found some good level one commercials. Yeah. You know what? If you have suggestions of buildings I should use, uh, please leave them in the discord, uh, the discord server. So link for the discord is in the description box down below. You can just, uh, go there and like post links and stuff for the steam workshop. And that way, that's the best way for me to see them. But yeah, if you have suggestions, go ahead and leave them there. And I'll look at incorporating them. Okay, so this should be pretty easy to get some water to these guys. Let's just run a water pipe up here. We'll run it over here. And I'm trying to keep the water pipes under the roads in this city. This is the first city that I'm doing this. It's kind of fun, actually. Kind of fun. So they should get water here pretty soon. All right. Our budget's getting a little bit better, but it's still very expensive. What we might have to do is start turning things off. I mean, we might have to turn off the lungs of the city. As much as I hate doing that because it's so nice. Although, the, well, uh This is one of the things that's most pricey. My fire station's really pricey too, but we need a fire station. Oh no, people are complaining. Okay, so we can't turn that down. What happened to this guy? Not operating. Why is this not operating? What is happening? Why did it stop operating? Oh my goodness. Did it stop operating because of the budget? Okay, that must be it because we turned the budget back up and now it's going again. No, this still says not operating. But everyone stopped complaining. So it must have been the budget. All right. Well, 
Uh, we're still losing tons of money. Okay, I'm going to have to turn this park off. This is very expensive. We will turn it back on later as soon as we get our money situation. Oh, everyone's unhappy. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, we have more people. We have now have 133 people. That is good. Oh, look at this. Lots of people. We have commercial, industrial. Everything looks great. All right. I think we should get some more jobs in here. And I think something I want to look at is our growing industry area, which is over here. We built all these adorable little factories. They look great. Um, oh, oh, one other thing I want to look at before. Oh, shoot. I might have missed it. Um, I saw a vehicle over here right before I started the stream. Let me just take a quick look. Um, yes, yes, we found it. Okay, so I added this a long time ago, and I've never seen it in game. But look at this. We have Greyhound buses. Isn't that a cool looking vehicle? It's an actual Greyhound bus. And so it's just, it's just driving through town. But yeah, I added that a long time ago. I've just never seen it. Isn't that cool? Oh, and look at this. I don't think I've seen this before. Where did this come from? Classic motorhome. That's cool looking. Yeah, I added some new some new cars and stuff. Oh, look at it. It's a cyber truck. We have a Tesla cyber truck. And then oh, this is a cool car. What is this? Chevy uh, 1972 Chevelle four door. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so it's just some cool cars over here. All right, I'm getting distracted. Northern says, I don't know why people need plumbing, just poo in a bucket. What? <laughs> I don't know about that. Liam says, money, money, money. Yeah, we're having money problems. Usually my cities are good with the money, but this Canada city, man, money is just flying out of my pocket. V5 says, how is your power? Let's look at the power. I, we still have tons of power. Power is not an issue. Uh, I'm missing a bunch of chats here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I do, you know what? I do go back and I read all the chats after the streams in case I missed anything. So don't, if I miss your chat, don't worry. Like I, I read everything. I read everybody's chats. I just, during the stream, I, I might miss some. Liam says, I used to drive Greyhound. Really? I've, I've ridden on Greyhound a lot, um, especially when I was like younger and I didn't have any money and I still wanted to go places. I thought Greyhound was great. I mean, tickets are pretty cheap and you could just hop on the Greyhound. These days, it's gotten a little bit more dangerous, though. Have you heard? I heard these like news stories about like people getting like stabbed on the Greyhound. And it's usually by like somebody with like mental problems. Uh, but could you imagine, like, I'm just going to take a Greyhound trip and then the person next to you just starts stabbing you? I mean, scary. <laughs> Liam says, I drove up to Vancouver. Maybe in Canada, it's the national healthcare LOL. <laughs> it's sucking all of our money up. We don't even have a clinic in here yet, though. So there's that. All right, let's do a little bit of fixes. Um, around here. I wanted to look at this Wells Fargo go bank that we built yesterday. Um, I act off the stream, I added a little bit more details here. So you can see I added some like rocks and flowers and this cool little pathway up, up here. So it just looks great. It's amazing what a little bit of detailing can do uh, to just like really make something look gorgeous. Um, but I realized we forgot to put something here. We forgot to put a sign. There's actually a sign that comes with this asset. Let me see if I can find it. Um, did I... I have to search for it. Let me just search for it. There it is. Sign. And I think this lights up at night, which is cool. So a little sign like this. 
Um, we'll put it right here. Try to line it up as best as I can. I think that's cool. Don't you? I love this little bank. How adorable. All right, so that's the bank. The bank is looking really good. Uh, here's our hotel. I love how everyone's using the parking in here. I added a little bit of flowers in here just to make it look a little nicer. And some dumpsters over here. It looks like there's a little bit of trash down here, some empty boxes. Um, let's go over to the garbage dump. So we have this garbage dump over here. Um, and I actually, I added some, I, I changed the fence up a little bit. Um, and I added these like sections of the fence that are really like broken down. So you can see there's like pieces of the fence down there. Um, yeah, I just uh, roughened it up a little bit. Oh, look at it. We got one of our big trains passing by here. I love these big trains. They look so cool. Um, I can't wait to build the train stations. Now, in this city, I'm not going to go train crazy because the last two cities I've been doing are very train heavy. I don't want this to be very train heavy, but I do love seeing the trains like kind of go by right through town. That's really cool. Anyway, I wanted to come over here because I was thinking, you know what? We probably should block this off from the rest of the town because look at the whole town can see these piles of trash. That's no good. Let's go ahead and just put a little bit of a, a barrier around this. We'll just use some, some trees, some nice pine trees. We'll just do a line around here just to, oh, wrong tree. Just to cause, to create a little bit of a barrier around here. I think that'll be good. Just to hide that a little bit. Yeah, I like that. And now, these guys over here... Well, you can still kind of see it, to be honest, but <laughs> it's a little bit nicer than it used to be. Liam says, <laughs> we were talking about stabbings. Liam says, if someone started to stab me, I would take his knife and, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, Northern says, I like how Zach is trying to make a nice, pretty city while Chad is talking. Uh, <laughs> what is happening in chat? Um, V5 says, or Northern says, I love graffiti art on trains. V5 says, I bet the bears are breaking the fence so they can get in and scavenge the garbage. Oh, there was bears in this area. Uh, yeah, it's probably the bears. Greg says, Zach, add a Canadian Northern train. Um, is that in the workshop? He says, uh, V5 says, I don't think Canadian Northern has been in business for a long time. Liam says, I can't bear the sight of garbage. Well, you don't have to because I got the trees around it now. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, I have my list of all the things I want to do today. So we did that. We banned the trucks on the road. We put the, the Wells Fargo sign up. Oh, basketball court. I was looking at our schools here. So right here, we have um, our elementary school here, Hawkins Middle School. I love this asset. It's so cool. It's so small town and like brick and it's a little run down and a little, little spooky with like, yeah, just the weather stains on the roof. Uh, this and there's Hawkins High School. They co they come together in a set. We have these little picnic tables out here, out front. Um, but there's a little bit of space here. I was like, this would be perfect for a basketball court. I need a little bit more space, so I think we're just gonna move this over. Let's just use move it, move this over a little bit, and let's find my basketball court. Basketball court. And I'm just going to use the the vanilla one that comes in the game. I actually haven't used this in a while. I'll just stick that in right here. And yeah, it looks pretty nice. I might come in and switch these trees up later, but it looks pretty nice for right now. It's a nice little a nice little court. 
So, you know, so they have the indoor gym over here that they can use for, at the high school, and then they have a little outdoor facility. I think that looks really nice. It fits in right nice next to the graveyard and everything. V5 says, yeah, Canadian Northern folded in 1923. <laughs> Greg says, yes, it is on the workshop. All right. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to check it out. Northern says the town looks sad. Does this look sad? Does this town look sad? I mean, the houses are a little a little bit run down looking. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's a little bit of a small town. Okay. It's a little bit run-down small town. I'm not saying that Canada looks like this, but but does it? <laughs> does Canada look like this? I'm not trying to make a sad little town. It's just kind of happening on its own. Okay, let's let this run a little bit. It looks like we're losing slightly less money than we were before. So maybe that'll get better as people move in. We still need people to move in. One of one household, but these are these are growing. So maybe they'll get better. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I forgot to do this over here. So we were going to go over here and talk about my industrial area. Um, so in these, I put those like little service blocks. You see these service blocks here? And these service blocks only have two workers. And that's just too small. So I'm actually going to use Rico to make these have more workers. We're going to bump these all up to 10. And the cool thing with Rico is once you do one, it does all of them. So we'll just do 10 workers. We'll kind of split it up to, say, five uneducated jobs. Uh, five uneducated jobs. Four educated jobs and one well-educated job. So that's how we'll do it. Yeah, so now it has 10 workers. Okay, so I just upped, I just upped the, um, the number of jobs in town. Let me just check this one. Yeah, see, this converted too. So all of these have now converted, and that should bring a whole lot more people to the city, which is great. Let's check our stats. Okay, so this is a little bit more evenly distributed now. Uh, for some reason... Oh, wow! So we just added the jobs, and our industrial piece of the pie really shot up. That's great. Okay, so now, to balance that out, we're going to need to add more residential. So let's add some more housing. This is perfect. I think we would have housing around this school here. Um, so let's add housing like all along here. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's go ahead and grab my housing, my housing uh, type here. And we'll put a bunch of these right across the street from the school. And I'll just plop, plop, plop. We'll just plop all these down. Um, should I let this? I think I'll let this road continue on through here. Do something like that. Oh, you know what? I was going to make this a cul an actual cul-de-sac here. So here's how you make cul-de-sacs. It, it took me a while to figure this out. Um, but what you have to do is put an extra node in here. So we can take my network multi-tool and just do add a node. So there'll be two nodes right next to each other. See, there's two nodes. And then you can use node controller and take this node and just go do more options and then stretch. And you're just going to stretch this. And you don't have to stretch it too much, but I think maybe like 125 looks good. 125 to 130 looks pretty good. And it creates like that little cul-de-sac bubble. Actually, I might do 130. Let's increase it to 130. Yeah, that looks good. So we got our little cul-de-sac here. So now we can have houses all around here. Um, it could be like the end of the street. So let me take a couple of these. I might just like use move it 
and copy some of these smaller ones. So take this one, put it right over here. I think we could probably only fit two, two smaller ones in here. Let's grab this one. Pop that one right there. Yeah, so that looks like a nice... Yeah, we need, might need to move this a little bit. So this one will slightly move over like this. But yeah, it's a, definitely like a cool cul-de-sac look that we got going on here. Let's move this one back slightly. And we'll move this one back slightly. Yeah, I like it. All right, so we got some more houses here, so that's good. We'll extend this street on down this way, probably. Um, and while those are growing in, somebody mentioned yesterday that we should have a supermarket. And um, I was doing a little bit of research because I have a few supermarkets, but I was like, are these actually in Canada? Guess what? They have Safeway in Canada, and I have a Safeway asset. So let's go ahead and put a Safeway grocery store in the city. We can put it in like down here or something. I wanted to use this for like Main Street stuff, but maybe we can put it in over here would be cool. Yeah, across from, across from this. Now, the problem is, once I put this down, this is going to be like a ton of jobs. It's going to be so many jobs. Oh, my goodness. But I think, I think it makes sense that we would put this in here. Um, so let's use... Um, let's put in the parking lot first. Parking lot use parking lot roads all right so i'm going to come off here and i'm going to have this, this is going to have a pretty big parking lot i think i'm going to come up like this or to this and then down like this it's not really 90 degrees why is that not 90 degrees oh my goodness um, shoot, I want that snap. All right, we're gonna have to do that again. connect these two guys and now it's not straight shoot ah okay let's use move it see if we can correct this it's like there but it's not really oh i don't know uh, okay yeah, see, that's not 90 degrees. What is going on here? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. There's no reason this should not be 90 degrees. Draw that out like that. Let's try this again. don't know why this doesn't want to be 90 degrees. That's so crazy. Okay, where are the nodes on here? There's a node right here. That's so close.
<laughs> oh my gosh. Well, this is not going to be perfect. All right. But it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be good enough. All right. There we go. So we got that in. And I'm trying to use parking lot roads, which is why I'm like maneuvering this around so much. So parking lot roads, you can like use this to draw out these little areas here. And we can actually draw out some big ones. Space already occupied. Let's do these two smaller ones. We can do two smaller ones side by side. And I feel like you see this a lot in these big, like, um, oh, this is nice. It has, like, a lights, like, right in the middle of it. Um, I feel like you see, like, these big parking lots a lot in um, grocery stores type places. Um, so you put in the parking lots like this, and then you just snap in, you know, your parking spaces. So let's put in the handicapped parking spaces first. Um, where are the handicapped ones? Here they are. One by one. Oh, perfect. Okay, so you put handicapped accessible parking spaces up front. And then next to them, we actually have electric vehicle parking. So you can put electric vehicle parking like right along the side here, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, maybe I'll put some more along the side here. And then right in the middle here, or we can put these bigger ones. Yeah, bigger ones like that. Okay, so we have this hole in the middle. Oh, perfect fit. Look at that. That looks so nice. I love these. Now, and hopefully these these should work now. Like people should actually park in these, which is nice. Um, so I wanna just duplicate this here on this side, and then I'm just gonna do like, um, trees and stuff and like decorate up this parking lot as a really nice looking parking lot what do you guys think isn't this cool so we'll do this again put those we'll put the electric vehicle ones oh shoot not right there not right there And then we'll put the big ones in. Boom and boom. Perfect little parking lot. Uh, we could even move these a little bit closer together, but I think I'm going to leave it. Um, let's look at our Safeway. Let's see how that looks in here. Wow, we're even going to have some room for stuff on the side. I love it. I love it. So we have a Safeway. Uh, we got a sign here. We can put a sign out front. Um, maybe we'll put two signs. Put a sign on either entrance. Put a sign there and a sign over here. Maybe that should be closer. Yeah, look at that. All right, so we got a nice Safeway going on here. And then how many workers is this? 52 workers, holy cow. <laughs> That's like my entire city is gonna work at Safeway. Oh, you know what? It's not centered. Hold up. It's not centered. I know that bugs somebody. All right, let's just center it ourselves. All right, what do you think of our parking lot? I love this whole like grocery store thing. Liam says, Zach, are you gonna get all the DLCs that are coming out? Yeah, that's my plan. My plan is to get everything. We'll see. 
Northern says, can City Skylines be modded on Xbox? No, it can't. You have to play the vanilla version on Xbox. V5 says, uh, he's talking about a truck with C containers stacked on top of each other. That doesn't sound very safe. V5 says, Superstore, Safeway, Sobeys, Co-op, all here. Gift Gamers in chat. Hey, man, welcome to the stream. So he's saying, what happened to Minecraft? You don't play it anymore. Yeah, I've been really into City Skylines lately, so we've just been playing City Skylines 100% of the time. Greg says, Sobeys, Loblaws, or No Frills Supermarket. Yeah, I need to get some more Canadian stores, so I'm gonna have to find some more in the workshop. I've seen some. I've seen some more, but I don't. I don't have them yet. Northern says, "I think you should continue with the cozy highway stop aesthetic with more consumer-friendly stuff in it." Uh, I like that idea. V5 says, "Oh no, Liam says it's like a double decker. I haven't seen it on a truck because of bridges, but I do see it on trains." V5 said it had two trailers, each with two C containers on top of each other. Greg says, I found a Sobeys supermarket and a Sobeys distribution center on the workshop. Northern says, I just ate a really good sandwich. You're going to make me hungry, Northern. Um, let's see. V5 took a class on hazmat. Holy cow. All right. While we're, we're kind of working on commercial stuff, let's keep in that, let's keep in that um, kind of that approach. Because I want to extend out this housing stuff, but I want to know how big these commercial areas are going to be. So let me do another commercial area over here. And on this corner here with this movie theater, I'd love to put in like a strip mall. Like, more of like a small town convenience kind of thing. So here's like the big box supermarket store. Oh, they need water. Let's get them some water. Um, but, I, you know, you see a lot of these like strip malls around. So let me do one of those. And I thought, again, we'd start with the parking lot. And I'm going to grab my parking lot roads. And have a road come out maybe like in the middle of this curve here. So let's start like here. And then come out like this. And then just over to the edge here. Or you know what? Actually, let's just go right into the parking lot. It's going to go right into this guy here. And so my idea is that we would build businesses all around this. Oh shoot! It doesn't have it doesn't give me zoning. Shoot! Parking lot roads don't have zoning. Well, how did we get zoning on this? This must give you zoning, but these don't give you zoning. Oh, that's frustrating. Um, I know that these give you zoning, but I don't want to do a full-on one of these roads. Or maybe I will do one of these roads. What if we upgraded to this? This is urban. No, let's do the suburban one. So that gave me the zoning. That's a little wider than I would have liked. But with these ones, we can do these like 90 degree, or not 90, what is this? 60 degree parking um, things, which is cool. All right, so what we'll do, let's put in our handicap spaces. So put some handicap spaces over here. And then we'll put, um, yeah, we'll put two of them right here at the front. And then we'll start going into these. So let 
me slide this over so it's in the exact right spot. Perfect. And just go down all the way to the end here. I think that looks good. Uh, and then on this side, just go like that. And then we'll probably just fill these into the end. All right, now why do those bump out of the ground? Oh, there's a little bit of a slope here, that's why. So let me take this, we'll slope this down a little bit. Okay, so now we can see them, but now we can't see other ones. What is happening? Can I select everything and put them at the same height? Control H. Yes, there we go. All right, everything's at the same height. Everything is fixed. That looks like a pretty sweet looking parking lot if you ask me. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so around here, I wanna do that whole strip mall thing. And I have these little shops here that I found. They're kind of strip mall shops. So we got we got a little, what is this? A cigarette store. <laughs> payday loans. Payday ca checks cashed. Oh, they oh these have like bars on the windows. Marco's Pizza. Look at that. We got a quick shop. Cigarettes, snacks, beers, soft drinks. What is this one? Video and novelty. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. All right, so yeah, just a couple of little shops here. That's all I got. I don't know if I want to repeat them, but maybe I'll put like this in here. This is like, this building's like a, oh, that's a post office. Oh, did we put the post office in here? I thought we did already. No, we don't have a post office. Oh, interesting. Should I put the post office right here? Yeah, maybe we'll put the post office in the <laughs> The post office is in a strip mall. Maybe, maybe, um... I don't know if I buy that. Maybe we'll put the post office. Let's put the post office on this corner here. I buy that. I think that makes a lot of sense. Let's line it up with the road. Uh, shoot, it's facing the wrong direction. There we go. Um, and maybe, let's make sure they have enough room for a parking lot here. Let's get one of our small parking lots. This one, maybe? Yeah, we'll use this one. But this is the same one we used over here. So we'll use another, or maybe even a smaller one. Yeah, we'll use this smaller one because there's a little bit of a, a this is slightly higher over here, and this is slightly lower, so. We'll have to kind of adjust things until they work. So this comes over here then. Or maybe we should have the building on the corner and the parking lot next to it. Let's do that. All right, I like it. It's a little lumpy and bumpy, but we can fiddle around with that until it works. Um, I think if we can like flatten out this land, that should help a little bit. So let's grab this brush. We'll go to this height here and just push this back. 
ever so slightly, and then grab these assets again and do Control H to this guy right here. And it's still not really, oh, no, it's flat. Okay, perfect. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, we got in our first post office. Um, there's another building I could put in here, though, at the strip mall. Oh, one second. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Um, you guys were talking about CN Rail. Liam says, mostly I see BNSF, Burlington Northern Santa Fe, and Union Pacific in the U.S. Northern says, okay, lads, I'm going to go reform a transcontinental mogul empire. See ya. Uh, V5 says the beer only store is kind of rare in Canada we need a post office but usually it's an older building and nicer looking uh, George is in chat welcome to the stream saying what mod is in the top left top left you're talking about this I, I don't know I got a lot of mods here you got to be more specific um, George says, what do you use instead of Traffic Manager? Does it work for you? Well, I use Traffic Manager, and it works great. V5 says, Network Multi-Tool. Yeah, Network Multi-Tool is this one here. Um, okay, so we're working on the strip mall here, guys. Um, and I might orient this a little bit differently. Let's put in, oh, I have a good idea. Yeah, let's let's orient this a little bit. So we're gonna grab this. Oh, this is gonna ruin everything. <laughs> it's gonna ruin everything. Oh my goodness. Okay, control Z, control Z, control Z. Can I select everything and move it together? Yeah, okay, that's much better. Yeah, I'd almost like to move it closer this way. All right, that's pretty cool. And maybe we can bend this a little bit more. Oh, that's ruining my, the edge of my, no, I'm gonna leave that alone. Maybe this we pull in a little bit. Oh man, now it's not all flat anymore. Shoot. All right, so let's flatten this out again. We'll do Control H. Go to this is what we've been flattening it out to, and it didn't fix everything. Let's maybe we need to flatten out our land. Yeah, let's flatten this out a little bit. Still, gosh, we moved things around and now I can't see anything. Oh my goodness. Maybe if I grab it like that, did that fix it? 
Oh, I might just have to be a little bit further from the road, which is fine. Which is fine. Okay, so there we go. A little bit of maneuvering around until everything looked okay. Oh, this doesn't look good anymore. Let's move this closer. There we go. All right, and then this, let's curve this around a little bit. Oh, gosh. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I think it looks a little bit better than we had before. All right, so I had another building I wanted to throw in here. Um, I think it was like a kind of like a club kind of building. It looked like this post office. I gotta find it now. Um, oh, we have a burger joint. Oh, no, that's not gonna go in a strip mall. Now, where is the building that I wanted to use? Subway would go perfect in here, though. That would be perfect. No, this is the one I wanted to use. Oh, I, we might not have enough space for this. I might put this over. No, I can't put that here. That's close to the school. All right. Uh, let's put in the subway. I think that's a good use. Oh, shoot. That has parking spots on it. Um... We'll just have to live with the parking spots, unfortunately. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense that there'd be parking spots there, but there is, so we're just gonna live with it. All right, let's flatten this land out a little bit more. Push it back, push it back. Great, and that actually looks really good. I like the subway in there as part of the strip mall. Isn't that cool? I love this. And maybe it would be nice if we put like a little wall around here. Uh, let me just look at my props and see what kind of walls I got. Wall, like a little stone wall. Oh, we got these fences here, too. What is this? Ooh, a brick wall. That is gorgeous. That is really, really nice. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That looks great. That looks great. Is this, does this have multiple sides? No, it looks the same. All right, so let's do it this way. No, let's do it closer to the sidewalk here. Closer to the sidewalk and then right along here. And maybe, maybe we'll leave room for a little bit of a back alley back here. I think that would be a good call. Oh, shoot. These don't actually connect. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see if we can move these so they're nicely connected here. Hit control and just move this into place. Perfect placement, that looks great. And then I can probably just take this one and copy this and move it into place over here. Just like that. Perfect. Um, I should probably do another one. Oh, it kind of raises up in the back. That's fine. That is fine. Um, let me do it again with like these guys over here. Copy it. 
put it in right here. Nice. Okay, so that is a really adorable strip mall. Okay, so the whole point of this was I want to extend out this residential neighborhood, but I wanted to know what my limits were. So I have some space to like go right back here, and maybe we could even have houses right behind here. Right behind the strip mall. That would be kind of cool. Captain Irish is in chat. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Um, let's see. Liam says, bob out the parking spots. Yeah, I thought about that, but I don't want to bob out the parking spots because if you bob out the parking spots here, it will bob out this parking slot. The bark. <laughs> It will bob out the parking spots on all of my other cities. I've used this subway in other cities, and I need the parking spots in those. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like juggling all these cities at the same time. So yeah, I can't, I can't bob them out. Captain says you need to set up a way to donate, Zach. Uh, I don't have monetization on this channel, so. <laughs> Yeah, not gonna happen. I do have like I do have like a donation like through PayPal, uh, but I I I took it off. I don't I don't need the donations. I'm just happy that you guys are here watching. So um, yeah, there there'll be a day when I will be monetized, and then and then you can guys can donate. But until then, I'm just happy you guys are hanging out with me. Liam says yeah. He has to have enough hours to be able to set up donations. Yeah, I'm, um, yeah, I'm short. I need more watch time hours. Um, I'm like two thirds of the way there. So. Okay, so extending out this neighborhood here, I think a good way to do this. So we're going to fill in kind of this area here. You know, maybe we could even connect up to this. Safeway parking lot. Would that be weird for a residential area? That would be kind of weird. Yeah, we're not going to do that. But let me grab this road and just kind of play around with this. Um, I think we're going to curve this and not do so many straight roads. So let's curve this around here. Let's try and leave a little bit more space. Curve it like, or maybe this will be like a cul-de-sac down here. Yeah, we can make that a cul-de-sac right there. And then have this come out here and connect up to this guy. And I, I think if I remember correctly, the... The actual town does something like this. They have like roads that come out and curve like this and run along the rail railroad tracks. And so maybe this connects up down here. Now let's do something a little straighter at this end. You just come out from this road here at a 90 degree, hopefully. And connect up to this guy just like that and then maybe this could be more like houses throughout here yeah so something like that and then in the middle here probably We just connect up through here. All right. So yeah, we could fill all of this in with houses. I think that would work out really well. This would probably connect up in here. We could probably get a couple more roads in here. So maybe this is a road here. Maybe there's another road here. Yeah, I like this little this little grid we have going on here. All right, we need to get more houses. Let's keep let's keep placing them down. Uh, 
Oh, that's the wrong. It's this one. Okay. More houses. Greg says, I'm glad it's free. I'm an old I'm an old guy on a fixed income with limited funds to spend. Yeah, I mean, um, that's the cool thing about YouTube is it's like, it's free. I mean, you just, you're just looking for some cool stuff to watch. You can just find it and, and have fun and you don't have to pay for, pay for anything. Oh, this is awkward. All right, yeah, we can fit in a bunch of houses throughout here. Oh, that's a little too big. Let me get the smaller ones. That's too big. All right, there we go. Mm, that barely goes through here. Is there any without fences? I don't think so. I think they all have fences. Um, I might just move these so that it angles or something. Something like that. So this guy would just have an extra large backyard. good enough to me and then I'll put this I'll fill this in with pavement and stuff throw some dumpsters back there it'll look sweet all right let's put in some more houses back into here maybe can I fit another one on here I don't think so I might replace this with like a bigger one like another one like this or another one like this yeah let's move this guy down over here or something and then duplicate this guy so we have another big house right on the corner here and then let's take all of these and move them all down this is like a jigsaw puzzle almost just trying to fit everything in here All right, so that one goes like this. This one we can probably... I would like to move this one more over and get this one in right here. All right, that looks good. All right, let's keep going. Those are all the same houses. Shoot. Yeah, I have this set up so it will it will change to different houses, which is really nice. 
and you can just find ones that fit in your little space here. Uh, Liam says, houses by the railroad tracks. I feel sorry for anyone trying to get to sleep. B5 says, businesses used to like railroad uh, for cheap deliveries, so you get fewer houses like that. Greg says, apparently you haven't grown up in a small farming town along a railroad. I'm a flatlander that grew up in one. Liam says, I did live in a house by a railroad track, but it wasn't that bad because the train didn't run that often and it only ran during the daytime. Yeah, I, I, for one, would not like living next to the railroad tracks. <laughs> I remember I went to a school that was right next to the railroad tracks. And actually, um, yeah, I won't talk about that. But, yeah, I did, I did go to a school that was right next to the railroad tracks. And it was, it was so hard because it was, like, it, it was busy. Like, there was always trains going by, and you're sitting there trying to, like, study and focus, and you get the train whistle going, and it was a lot. It was a lot. Yeah, and as we go over this way, they get closer and closer to the tracks. <laughs> Um, I'm really liking this house pack that we're using, though. It's like it makes everything looks a little bit more uniform, which is really nice. These ones are all going to have to be smaller houses. And that one actually fits. Let me move this guy over, and this guy I'm going to spin around. Move it into place there. This guy I'm going to move back a little bit. This one, I actually don't like that that's so big. How about... That one's nice. Perfect. We'll use that one. All right, and then we get a little bit more over here. Did we do it? I think we filled in our whole new residential area, and it looks sweet. All right, so I hope, let's let this play. So a couple of things. I hope we get a lot of taxes, 
And I hope we have enough people to work in our new Safeway because we need, we need 52 workers. Oh, gosh, this has a lot of, like, well-educated and highly educated people, which is not going to happen anytime soon. Yikes. Um, I do love our little, new little strip mall, too. Now, these are also all have workers. Not that many. Subway has eight workers. Holy cow. Oh, no. We need a lot of water. A lot of water. All right. Let's go ahead and bring the pipes up through here. And up to here. Let's go this guy all the way down to the end and all the way down to here. And we're still missing this guy's here, so we'll have to do another pipe down these roads. Perfect. Uh, V5 says, are there garages in these houses? People like garages. Some of them have, like, driveways, but some of them just have, like, street parking, I think. Greg says he's all over Eastern Plains. Nice. V5 says, uh, oh, I already read that. Liam says, don't forget a fence by the railroad track so no kids can play Frogger in front of the trains. Um, Liam says... Yeah, you need garages so you don't have to clean off your cars in the ice and snow. That is a good point. Greg says, The Rock had two to three freight a day, one around midnight, three times a week. Oof, that would be hard to live next to, the, to one of those. B5 says, Good point about fences, Liam. Also, if you have a, a gauge or a garage, you may not have to plug your car in. Liam says, Midnight's hard. Train tracks I live next to, there was no a no horn ordinance. Nice. That is nice. All right. Let's look at the train tracks. Oh, shoot. What did we do? What did we do? We're supposed to put in a train station here, and I just put all these houses in. Oh, my goodness. They're supposed to. This is supposed to be my train station spot. What am I going to do? We could always put it on the other side. Yeah, let's do that. We'll have the train station on this side. Uh, but yeah, we should have fences and stuff along here. In fact, taking a look at this train track, this doesn't seem to be the most safe train track. I mean, look at this bridge. Isn't this like flimsy? I feel like this is not safe. Are train tracks like this in Canada? I mean, this is very not safe. The only thing that's keeping people off this or keeping the trains on this is this little flimsy rail here. I don't know about this. V5 says, time for eminent domain. I can't use eminent domain. I just put the houses in. <laughs> Liam says, just put it on the other side. Yeah, I think we'll have to put it in over here. And then we'll have like a walkway over the train tracks or something like that. So people can walk over here. I think that'll be good anyway because it'll keep traffic off of these roads back in here. I don't want any traffic in here. And I should, now that I'm thinking about that, I should say no trucks on these roads. Let's come over here and say no truck, no truck. And... Here. No. On here. No trucks on there. I'll do it on here. No trucks on here. I'm just like all the entryways into this these suburban areas, I'm trying to say no trucks. And then no trucks here. Perfect. Um, oh, actually, I want to make this a, another cul-de-sac here. So let's do that as well. So we're going to add another node. We'll add a little node right here. We got these. That's a little close together, but that's okay. Um, then we'll use node controller on this guy. We'll stretch it out to 130. And then maybe throw in a couple more houses around here. 
So we'll move this guy over slightly. This guy, maybe we'll angle him a little bit. And let's grab, like, let's grab, let's grab some big houses. Let's put this guy in over here. And maybe this guy over here. Let's grab this guy. See if we can make these work. All right, we have a little bit of intersecting fences, but that's nothing we can't maneuver around. So let's move this back a little bit. Let's move this guy back. This guy will just spin around like this. This guy will move slightly like that. All right, that's looking pretty nice. We'll move this back too. I can add a little bit more pavement so it looks like these all go all the way to the edge of the road. Or I have a little bit more room here. Yeah, so I can add some more pavement there. Probably push that back too. All right, so another nice little cul-de-sac there. And then we'll probably put another kind of wall around here just to, like, wall these off. Because, yeah, there'd probably be... Yeah, they have they have to get, like, deliveries in here. So I want to make sure that trucks can get up here to do these deliveries. So this will probably be all paved back in here. Um, I'm thinking it would be nice to have another, like, store here, though, but I don't know what I would put in there. Yeah, maybe I'll save this to make sure we can get, have some more stores here. We even have a little bit of room for stores on the side, too. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Greg says, Zach, I really hope I can get on Discord to share the level one Canadian commercial with you. Is it is Discord free? Yeah, Discord's free. You just click on the link in the description and it sends you an invitation and it says click on the invitation and you click on it. It takes you right to this, uh, right to the discord server. And it's just like, it's just like this chat and we just chat on it all day. Um, yeah. And so you can just post whatever links on there. Greg says, I derailed a couple of grain cars when I worked at a co-op. Couldn't get the brakes to catch. Oof. I got even more stuff I want to do, guys, but I think I'm going to have to end the stream here. Um, I might do a little bit of detailing off stream. Like I said, I'm going to go through wherever we have these like driveways with the grass going through. I'm going to fix that so that it looks like it's normal. <laughs> uh, but I love these like adorable little neighborhoods we built today. Um, everyone's complaining about workers. Let's take one more look here. This is a nice distribution of residential, commercial, and industry. So that looks really good. We could probably use a little bit more industry, but these guys are all complaining about jobs. So um, I think I just need to let this run. We're still losing money, which is not good. We're still losing money. I'm going to have to figure I might have to take out a loan or something. But I mean, our city is growing. We're at 441 people. Holy cow. We started the stream at like 60 or something. Now we're up, we're over 400. But that's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for being here. You know, it's, I realize it is a stressful day for most people because of the election and everything. So uh, thanks for not talking about politics. And it was good to just kind of hang out, have fun, play some games, grow the city. And I look forward to continuing to grow the city out a lot more as time goes on. So thank you, everyone who is here. Thank you, V5. Thank you, Liam. Thank you, Greg. Um, thank you. Uh, I know there was a lot of people here tonight. So thank you to everybody. And everyone, remember, no matter what is going on in your life, to always do something fun every single day. Until next time, this is Zach signing off.